What up, YouTube? It's Honey. And Toga. And we out here again in the truck. We coming from... Where are we coming from, babe? Uh, ben Lemon, California by San Jose. And now we going... We just dropped the load. Now we're going to San Jose. Uh, yeah, San Jose area. San Jose area. Called Mountain View. The city called Mountain View. Okay. There's 40 minutes from... Uh, we just dropped that load. We okay, that and um, what is the weight that we picking up right now? That one is like, uh, I want to say, thirty five hundred pounds. Thirty five hundred pounds. Yeah, we just we just dropped the load that was eight thousand pounds. So let me tell y'all, right? That's my first time driving with him. He already went. Um, On what load? I had one. Alone. I had a couple loads going. I had a couple loads, but I'll tell y'all about that later. And so, um, he already picked up the load when he had picked me up, and the truck was kind of like heavy. And now that we had finally, after a day, dropped the load off, the truck is really light and it's bouncing everywhere. <laughs> but um, other than that, the drive was okay. We drove from Vegas. How you like the drive, man? It was alright. Um, at nighttime, I ended up falling asleep, and I had some scary videos playing for him. And the, where we at, it's kind of like nothing but woods and trees. And I was out <laughs> in the woods listening to Mr. Ballin. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Ballin. But, um, yeah, so, um, other than that, the drive was okay. This drive now is kind of hot right now. Hot, but not that bad. So now we're going to go pick up our other load. We're going to be in after San Jose. We're going to Cal LA. Carthon, California. Carthon, California. The load from Vegas to San Jose paid us eleven hundred dollars, and it was five hundred and fifty miles. Yes, we so, we ended up getting a room. Yeah, we got a room about twenty minutes from where we dropped that, uh -huh. and then um. When we got there, I had to I had to help the dude unload the truck, and it was supposed to be no touch freight. So I called the uh, the broker and told him that. So hopefully he give me compensate me for that. Yeah, he came back in the truck sweating. I was like, what happened, babe? I thought you were eight thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, he's fine though. He's a big man. He can take it. <laughs> like, who would want you know just the other person moving the load by themselves? Like, you know, it's gonna take too much of our time. So. I gotta beat to my other load, or they might cancel, or they might start charging me, or anything. So I don't want to be late to so none of my pickups and drop offs. Yeah. So we are new to this trucking business. Yeah. Um, so far, so good. Yeah. Um, we just bought this truck. How much did you pay for it, babe? No arm and a leg. <laughs> he paid about like forty thousand. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Woo. He almost had an accident. <laughs> <laughs> he almost made it. I can't even turn the camera around, but um, yeah, he paid about fifty thousand for this truck. It's a twenty-six foot box truck, right? Did I say that? Yeah, it's a twenty-six foot box truck. It's a Ford twenty thirteen, and I got a lift gate. Yeah. So, um, did we have any major problems with it? Uh, we have some problems, major ones, not really, but we did have some problems. On below, he went um, by himself. He did run into a little, yeah, a little hiccup have to make a whole with another the truck. Video about that right there. Yeah, so. I, I got stuck somewhere. The truck had a problem. I had to get the truck fixed in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere, but that's you know that's some things that you're gonna have to go through with this trucking business. Definitely. And then I had my truck inspected three different times before I even took my first load, so I couldn't. So even nothing prevent. is really for sure. Yeah, I couldn't prevent with it. The truck. Did something that happened. Yeah. But now we've been cool. The truck been running good. Right. We've been straight. Mm -hmm. Um, other than that. She don't really like riding on her day. Um, it's the bumps for me. Okay. <laughs> mm, let's just get that clear. I, especially like I, you know, we were just talking. We in these, uh, if y'all can see. Flip the camera so they can see. Stuff. I'm a city girl, so when I see all this stuff, you know, I'm just trying to hurry up and get to the destination and get back <laughs> to the city. But, um, yeah, 
yeah you really got to be dedicated with this type of stuff because it's not for the weak hearted mm -hmm. it's really not um, you know don't mind me I this is my first YouTube so if y'all like what the fuck is it this is my first YouTube so I'm trying to do the best I can yeah and another thing we, we based out of Vegas and in Vegas there's not a lot of local loads yeah there's not you can't, you can't just run get up and book something and, and be done that day so if you are trying to drive locally um, you gotta you gotta um, like do your research and see what you have in your area Right. Where we at, like Vegas, Arizona, Utah, there's not a lot of stuff like locally. I know in those areas, but going from Vegas to Arizona or Vegas to Utah, you can find some stuff, but you won't be able to make it home the same day because of the clock. So Right, so if you, you know, got kids and a girl and really don't like being away from home that much, yeah. um, you might want to try a different yeah. occupation <laughs> because... Damn, you just shut people down, baby. There's a lot of people out there that don't. <laughs> no, I'm just keeping it real. Because a lot of, you know, truckers, like, they don't keep it real. Like, because I, I be missing my man when he gone and stuff. So that's why, you know, I took upon myself. Let me come with him. So if you got a girl and she, y'all go do y'all thing. And then, you know. But if you got kids and stuff and you driving by yourself. And driving, you know, through this at nighttime and scared like he was. <laughs> you gotta probably toughen up a little bit and you know, like to have that. Um, other than that, yeah. so we gonna um, we gonna be up, 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 up. updating you guys. Yeah, we gonna be updating y'all when we get up here to pick this load up. I'm gonna show y'all this load. This load is going from San Jose to Hartland. My mom stay up in LA. So we're gonna stay at my mom's house tonight. And yeah. then we're gonna run a load tomorrow and go home. Like any way that you guys can save some money, do it. Yeah. We we haven't been really saving money, but we just trying to get in the swing of things right now. Like we try we try to make sure you know, Yeah, um I do not recommend you, you know, go on in the truck and drive somewhere that's not in your hometown with zero dollars in oh, your pocket. No, no, that would no. be um a bad decision because you don't know what can happen. I would say you need a thousand dollars in your account at all times. At least a thousand. You want to tell them a little bit about the gas card and stuff? Well, or, with me, I, I haven't been able to get my gas card. I got a pilot card and it's supposed to be in a mail or something like that, whatever the case may be. But right now, I'm just paying for fuel out of my pocket, so I got money for that too. Um, every time we stop at a gas station, we put at least one twenty. So that's just something. So you ready for that? But you're gonna have to go. Right? So to go 500 miles, it probably cost us 280 dollars or 300. Uh -huh. And they paid us 1100. Our room was 100, so basically we walked away with about 700. Yeah. Which is not that bad.
But you know, it's always good to be with your significant other for support and stuff. You made this trip a lot easier than the first trip. I was lonely. Yeah. And I was missing him, so I'm like, you know what, next time I'm gonna go for sure. <laughs> That's it for right now. We'll update y'all in a minute. Okay, bye.